How to process your visa in Japan using the online system. Getting a visa in Japan just got as easy as counting 1, 2, 3, and a few clicks. With benefits like 24-7 accessibility, zero fees, and no need to visit the immigration office, it's the way to go. You can also process your visa in English language, making it easy for foreigners to navigate the system. Benefits of the online system Possible to submit an application from home or the office without the need to come to the immigration counter in person. No fees for use of the online system. Available for use 24 hours a day. Possible to receive the residence card by mail. Who can use the online system? All the status of residence except diplomat and temporary visitor are eligible. What kind of applications can be submitted online? Application 4, Certificate of Eligibility. Application 4, Change of Status of Residence. Application 4, Extension of Period of Stay. Application 4, Permission to Acquire Status of Residence. Application 4, Certificate of Authorized Employment. Application 4, Re-Entry Permission and Application 4, Permission to engage in an activity other than that permitted under the status of residence previously granted. What do you need to prepare before you can use online system? Individual number card also known as my number card. Residence card. Laptop or a personal computer. IC card reader writer which is compatible with my number card. And JPKI client software. You can purchase IC card reader from Amazon Japan for around 1200 yen. Check the description for the IC card product link. Important point to remember. Please do not use your Gmail account as you would not be able to receive emails since Japan's online immigration system restricts access from overseas IP entrances. Instead use Yahoo Mail like email ending with at yahoo.co.jp. You can easily create a Yahoo Mail account from Yahoo Japan website. Check the link in the description. Now let's start registration. Step 1 Install software called Client JPKI. Then open Google Chrome and add the shown Google Chrome extension. Check the description for software download link and Google Chrome extension link. Attach my number card to IC card reader and connect it to the computer. Open your Google Chrome and go to Immigration's website of online application system. You can find the website link in the description. Click the button to register as a foreign national user. Input your pins, which are your electronic certificate, signature pin, and electronic certificate pin you registered when you applied for my number card at your local city hall. On the top right, you can see a sample of my number card pin document, which is given by the city hall staff. After you applied for the card, you may check your PIN document if you don't know your PIN. Enter your personal information such as name, address, residence card number, Yahoo email address, etc. After signing up, you would receive an email from the immigration. Log in from the email link to reset the password for the registered user ID. After resetting your password from the link, you would be able to log into the online immigration system. Again, go to the Immigration's online system website and click on Login as a foreign national. You'll be asked for four-digit PIN. Enter and click OK. Then you would be redirected to Login page. Enter your authentication ID and password. Then click on Login. After successfully logging in, click on Enter Application Information. The page will open where you select the type of application and other details. If you want to apply for visa extension, choose application for extension of period of stay from the application type drop-down. Enter your name and other details. After you entered all the information, click on confirm. Then click on enter application information. After that click on click go to the application information list. 
a caution dialog will open. This is to warn you that your application is not yet complete. Click OK. The application menu page will open. Upload your photo by clicking on attach a facial photo. The page to upload your photograph will open. Select the photograph to be uploaded and click open. Your photograph will be uploaded and saved. Maximum photo size that can be uploaded is 50 kilobytes. Then click on registration and you will return to the application menu page. You can check your uploaded photo by clicking on check facial photo if you wish to check your saved photograph. Now upload supporting documentation. Click attach materials. The page to upload supporting documentation will open. Then select the file. Before you select the file, don't forget to compile all required documents in one PDF because multiple PDF are not allowed. Max file size is 10 megabytes and supported file type is PDF only. Select the document to be uploaded and click open. Now click on registration. The save confirmation dialog will open. Note that you cannot change the document once it has been saved. Therefore, take an extra care to ensure that you upload and save the correct document. Click Confirm. The document will be uploaded and saved, and you will return to the application menu page. Now submit the completed residency application. Click on File an application with the Immigration Services Agency, the application submission complete page will open. An email will be sent to your registered email address that the application has been received. That's it. You have submitted your application. You can confirm the status of your residency application's examination by searching. You can also look up past residency applications. For that click on application information search from the main menu page on the online residence application system. Enter the details about the residency application you wish to find on the search. Then click on search. A list of residency applications matching your search conditions will be displayed. Look for your residency application on the list of applications page and confirm its status in the application status column. Talking about processing time. Normally, the immigration authority takes around a month or less to approve a visa application. But, the actual time for processing may vary depending on various factors related to each individual case. After the immigration has approved your application, you would be receiving another email from them. They would inform you of the things you need to prepare. So prepare all the things you need to send via mail to the immigration office for you to receive your residence card as soon as possible. In case of visa renewal, send the following items within 14 days of receiving the mail by simplified registered post. First you need to buy two-letter pack light. You can buy them from convenience stores or from postal counters. Write the details on the first letter pack as showing in the video. In the first letter pack, write the receiving address of immigration which is sent to you through email. And write your address as a sending address. In the back side of the first letter pack, write the application reception number and the number of applicants. Check your mail for application reception number. Write the details on the second letter pack as showing in the video. In the second letter pack, write your address where you want to receive the new residence card. And keep the sending address input field blank because immigration will write it by themselves. And then make a halfway fold on the second letter pack as showing in the video. Then you need to fill the fee payment form and buy a revenue stamp and paste it on the form as showing in the video. The revenue stamp amount depends on the type of application. But for the visa renewal application, you need a 4,000 yen revenue stamp. This can be purchased at any Japan post office branch. Insert the second letter pack, your original residence card and fee payment form inside of the first letter pack and send it via post. Upon the receipt of your envelope, it may take up to three days for the issuance and dispatch of your new residence card. With the implementation of the online system, it is now possible for you to apply for your residence card online and have it delivered to your mailing address. This eliminates the need to spend an entire day waiting in line at the immigration office, as well as the additional time spent waiting to collect your visa. 
I hope this video helps a lot. Thank you for watching. And please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. I will post more informational videos in coming days.